Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips and welcome back to Wild Frost. Okay, it's really, really late for me. And I got, and I really don't want to miss a video or miss an upload. So here we are. We're back in Mixed Modded Wild Frost. We got a new mod, the Rain Frost mod, a mod themed after, mo a Rain World themed mod. There's going to be a lot of like those instances of me choking on my words and not being able to say stuff. So here we go. So let's look at, this leader has a ton of health. If this leader had one more attack, I'd be willing to go with it. I could just pick Loki if I wanted to, which I'm not against. Uh, this set of leaders, this leader's also not bad. Well, right now this leader's kind of bad. It's not terrible, but not great. We got better options. Nib Nibnab <laughs> Nibnab, I like that name. Nibnab. Or Nibnam. Nib this I wish it was just Nibnab. Alright, apply one snow aimless. Really I've I've gone on record to say why I think this kind of leader is just the best format a leader can be. But do I actually want to play Clunk Masters today? I'm pretty sure for the lat let yeah, for that for the last mix mod at Wild Frost, we did do. We did in fact do, uh, these guys be. See, I look. This is what I mean. A lot of not being able to speak today is in order. So we are gonna be playing Snow Dwellers today, and I think I'm gonna pick this leader. This leader name comes from. Poised Piggy, I'm pretty sure it was, and they asked me to name this leader Piggy. Piggy. If you wish to name a leader in this series in or in one of these future videos and you have not done already, you can do so in the comments below. Alright. I the they call me Joe Biden the way I can I can't string string together a simple sentence. Alright. I'm honestly just gonna pick Loki today. Our leader does not do oh, this is weird. Huh. Loki is in front of... Bushu is just all the way back in. Can I even select Bushu? Okay, I can select Bushu. Alright, I'm gonna pick Loki. I need a leader that does damage. And I'm very comfortable with the damage output of Loki. This seems kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Do just have to snow the Snulf and then... We're, do we're taking two damage from the snow boat, but it's not too big of a deal. I just need to... I didn't need to do that. Eh, it doesn't. It did miss out on the multi-kill there because I. it is very late for me. And I don't want to miss its recording. See, I'm the, my biggest fear is that I'm like... That the, fi this, the final product of this video is going to turn out shit because I'm so tired. That's my greatest fear. That the final product is bad. Now, I... How... I can... Even when I, like, I can't speak, I think I can still, like, be... <laughs> decently entertaining. <laughs> These... Can put, put up, like... I can, I can give the illusion that I know what I'm doing. I... 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 I absolutely don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm even doing here, man. But I gotta give the illusion that I am. I gotta give the illusion that we are, <laughs> that we're locked in. We are locked in, ready to fucking go. It's snow night, so we're poor. I'm gonna take the path with two frozen travelers. I'm very happy with that. Pepper Pan. We saw this item last time, and I'm down to or I've seen this item a bit ago. I think I've seen it in a seen it in a failed run. And I want to click Pepper Pan here. Apply spice e to the front ally equal to damage dealt. This is from the special delivery mod. I'm pretty sure. Seems pretty okay. Ooh, ooh. Some new units here. We got five pebbles. I'm pretty sure this is from the the snow, the rain frost mod. Destroy, deploy brother, 
brother long legs lose one scrap intric intr intractor spark so uh brother long legs become daddy long legs deal two damage to non-rot allies in a row rot barrage okay tons of new keywords here so rot at a category at a card category does nothing itself to non-rot allies okay and can i see what okay and intricate or a card category does nothing else and we got car category when hit apply two <laughs> apply two of either spice Applied to two of either spice, shell, <laughs> fucking teeth, or frost to a random ally. Oh my god. Alright, I have no idea what is gonna happen if I click five pebbles here. Absolutely no idea. I don't really want to take the unit that starts with demonize and no has no attack. Cargory? I don't know. This just seems so... irksome. <laughs> How bad could this possibly be? I'm not- I don't- Five Petal Pebbles I'm cautious of taking because I don't know what it means. I don't know what it was talking about. Monk. Increase attack of all allies in a row. Reduce the reduce the attack of enemies in a row by one. Slug cat. A card category does nothing else. That's kind of that's kind of cool actually. In decreasing the decreasing the enemies attack, that's pretty cool. Just passively. I think th I want I like that. Let's take that. Would like to try finding a more a unit that can support. Well, we have supporting units. Now we need to find something that like is a good recipi recipiator of that support. Fortunately, this snow gobbler is going to mess me up. Alrighty. Cargory, I need you. Okay, thank you for the teeth. Very appreciate it. Uh, do I really? I mean, like, how am I going to get around not deal not taking teeth damage from this thing. It's either that or I'm taking five next turn. Or I let Woodhead take the hit and I'm kicking the can further down the road. I'd rather just deal with it now. I will take out... I will, like, target down this Uba Bear here with a Scrappy Sword... With a decent little play if uh, we can put you here. I definitely want to kill this Uba Bear. I don't want to get hit with a Demon Eyes. Sounds bad. Alright, killing the Goblin, not too bad. Let's get down Monk. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Monk is on an activation effect. You know, I always get c confused with this. Yeah, I always get confused uh, with this when it comes to, like, modded characters. But this being on an activation of effect actually seems like... So, if we Lumen Vase this and then we Sun Rod it a bunch, we can just, like, permanently, like, lock out a, like, weaken a lane, I feel. And this is permanent. This unit seems like they got some serious sauce. I like it. I like me a unit with some sauce. I like me a... I like me a woman with some sauce. Sorry. Uh, I'll just go for... I'll do this. We'll get a double kill. Thank you for the teeth, Karagori. Yeah, I just get, like, a free plus one attack here. And this unit doesn't have, like, horrific turn counter. A... You, a completely usable four turn counter, which weirdly I've like a a trend I feel like I notice with like modded character, like modded characters is that 
they in order to bounce them they just give them like five or six turn counters and it just feels like not great <laughs> Not too great in my opinion. I don't... No, yeah, Woodhead would definitely get that spice there. If we could find, like, a Foxy or, like, some other unit with any, like, capability of holding boost, then we're gonna be in great shape. Huh, that, the card did a backflip. That's... That's fucked up. Unfortunately, we get a pretty unfavorable... Ooh... Bone Needle. Noomlin, a nice little two damage no smack. That's Noomlin. And apply two explode to all allies. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think that's good. I don't think I'm gonna have the room to play Mobile Campfire. I kind of would maybe... Let's take a Bone Needle. How... I will not be duping the Bone Needle. The Bonita. The Bonita Bone Needle. Uh, I guess I could just dupe a snow stick. It's fine. Definitely loading up on a lot of items here. And then we like, Truminator, Bright Purple Pearl. Apply one Demonize, Consume, Zoomlin Pearl. A category. So it seems like this, like, Rain Frost mod does a lot with, like, unit types. Which is interesting. Kiwano Cookie doesn't look that great to me. What if you guys, you think we could do like some teeth stacking shenanigans? You think that could work? Trick question. It will not. I'm down to just take a four scrap shroominator here. It sounds seems perfectly fine with me. Jellyfish. Apply three <laughs> by increase by one when played. Zap. Before attacking, take damage. Cool. A jellyfish. Looks neat. Ooh, I'm excited to be playing with this new mod. This new... This new, like, uh, mod seems super cool. I'm gonna crown Loki here. I'm very happy I clicked... I, like, matured and just clicked Loki today. Because I would be pretty scared of this early game if I didn't have, like, such a... If I didn't have, like, the consistent damage output of Loki. Reason why Loki is just the GOAT. And will always be the GOAT. I will just be kind of killing Bamboozle here, won't I? I kind of will. And I think it's okay. I have a lot of snow and a lot of chump blocking to deal with. To deal with Boozle and Bam, respectively. I kind of wish I had more time to get out my units, though. Not gonna lie. And... We get a bit of a needle. We get a bit of a needle-in going. Or a bone needle-in. A bonita-ing. It's- this card is- What the fuck? Huh? But, I, what? Loki, how did Loki get plus one HP? Is that like, huh? <laughs> Does Bone Needle have like a hidden effect not listed in the card text? I, uh, I'm lost. I'm confused. It's probably that it has like something like hidden away in the card text. Maybe it's like a thing where like it would make sense if you played like, if you played Snowfall, or, or, Rain Frost. There you go. I'm taking a lot of... I can get, like... I can get a ton... I do kind of want to let you hit this Snowbow hit me. So, wait, let me see here. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and it's an empty max HP. What? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> And it only buffed Loki. It's one empty max HP that only Loki receives? <laughs> what the fuck? This shit is weird. This shit, this is odd. Two shell, baby. This is quite strange, I must admit. 
I am not too sure on what is going on. God damn, why does this unit have, like, no HP? I want to use Karagori's effect. Is it, the where Karagori has like the fucking Lupa syndrome, where I want to use Lupa's effect, but they have such low starting HP that like, how am I supposed to use this effect? And boy, I tell you, you do not want to have Lupa syndrome. It's one of the deadliest syndromes to ever hit America. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really like I'm kind of auto playing through this fight. And that is probably going to be to my deck. That is almost definitely going to be to my detriment. No, we have a good enough HP. Nothing has happened yet to, like, really scare me. Although, Bam is going to be... Okay, I think I just want to keep snowing. Ugh, I am in a bit of danger from this Winter Worm here. Although, I do have another Scrap. Definitely want to let Kargori take a hit here. I can go for, like, Scrappy Sword, Scrappy Sword, redraw Scrappy Sword on the Winter Worm. I think I should just always go for a Scrappy Sword here. And I think I need, I think I need to play Wood. Oh my god, Kargori, you applied Frost to my own units. What the fuck? Alright, it is bad. It is just straight up not good. Uh, okay, no, no, it's actually fine. It's actually fine. Thanks to Needle here. Okay, now Monk got, like, one HP. I don't get it, man. I guess it, like, restores HP to a random unit. Which is, like, okay, I think. Needle actually, like, coming in very... Is actually coming in rather clutch here. Okay, Kargori, you are just, like... Okay, there you go. Give me teeth. That's good. We are... Damage output is not very high. I am starting... I am noticing. This is something I have noticed. I'm going to... Oh, God. I really... Okay. I'll let... I need to recall you, Kargori. I can let our leader get the kill on Boozle. And then I think I'm go my plan is to use Sunrod on Bam next turn. God, I am not walking out with a lot of money, though, which is really sad. Oh, no, I, I probably will be okay. I might want to... There's not really a place for multi-kills. I don't really have a place for a multi-kill here. I'll do this. Maybe we kill the Winter Worm and we can set up a multi-kill. Okay, it's still fine. That's some damage on that guy. Then I need, like, Snow Stick, Snow Stick, which is exactly what we draw, and then we're able to end off on a double kill here. Just a little bit of extra money. Can definitely make the difference, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. We're good. We we are we are just fine in money. Cake charm. You could just do cake charm and give it to flame water. It is a classic com combination. Although I feel like I'm going to be more reliant on this monk unit to, to as like my late game plan. We're just going to be, like, playing a really slow game. So I kind of want to take, like, HP or maybe, like, Shell. I mean, it is just, like, more value to take Acorn Charm, so I think I'm going to take that instead. It feels really... Ugh, I don't know if that's right, actually. Definitely want to take the money and a Frozen Traveler. We got plenty of items in this build. Okay. Okay. Fucking finally. I see Amis here with without a curse thing. But it doesn't really matter here. Because I'm probably not going to be... Centipede. Apply two Spark Aimless. Or apply two Zap Aimless. Okay. 
We're definitely taking one of these units. I'm gonna take off Karagori. Replace it with Monk. So we've done Sorel Mist before, and at 5 turn counter, I'm not really feeling Sorel Mist. The barrage is nice. I guess we could do Centipede. I honestly don't hate doing Amis here. Amis, maybe we are, maybe I do just take Amis here and we try to do like a slow, and we go like slow. We play it real slow. When HP is lost, apply equals frost to the attacker. We just try to play like a really slow game plan. Where we're like weakening, where we're weakening them and then like, Monk is gaining attack. We def- the absolute best thing for us to find here would be like gnome charm anything that gives monk frenzy or anything that anything that gives monk frenzy or a boost to the boost to their effect chuckle charm um i could just chuckle charm up the leader And it be okay. No, am I giving this to Monk or am I giving this to Piggy? Piggy will be at 11. I might want to give this to Monk, actually. I might need Monk to, like, be able to survive a hit from Frostlancer. Or just be able to survive a hit in general. I think I might do this. Unsure though. Can I take the crown off. Eh, I'll keep the crown on Loki. And I think I'll put this on. I think I'll just give it to you to make you even more bulky, but you're already kind of bulky. I'm gonna do this here. Gonna give this to Monk. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Will I be okay into this fight? With Loki, I should be. With Loki, we should be fine. God, Loki, this is... This is a Loki run. Oh, I did... I, maybe I shouldn't have decreased my pepper. Eh, nah, it's fine. Get a nice double kill here. Monk gets to go off here, although it's not really that valuable. And unfortunately, we're eating an annoying, like, attack down here. Oh, wait, no, not, we're not hitting, not, not that we're, no, we're not, because we're not hitting to, oh, I, it, it's fine, we're, yeah, walrus. <laughs> I, don't have words. I have no mind, but I must speak. I'm really tired. I am really tired. <laughs> and that is all I have to say. That is all I have to say to you right now, is that I'm really, really tired. Alright. This fuck- okay. This Makoko is annoying, but isn't the end of the world. God, this Grog is fucking nuclear. I can set it up like this, so that Monk plus Grog can kill the- Although, it was gonna work like that anyway. I will do this for Loki. We kill one of the Grogs here. Oh god, King Moko. We do not have a lot of progress on these units, and our turn counters are very low. We are definitely not ahead when dealing- Well, now, a thing is, I could just- I think I should definitely try to save. God, do I- I don't- I- There's no way I can just, like, rush down. Rush down King Moko here. It just isn't possible. Oh, God. I think I let my- Ugh, God, what am I supposed to do? Ugh, yikes. 
it's a it's we are saying that we were gonna do a slow game plan and then we walk into King Moko. What are you supposed to do, man? To be honest with you, I think what I need to do here is I need to let King Moko attack. So you can survive two, you can survive two. I can play Woodhead to survive another hit. Piggy has... Okay, this is what I'm... I'm gonna let King Moko attack here. I need to be extremely careful I do not hit King Moko. I think this is the path forward. Oh my god. It is just like one attack. Okay. We let... We get the kill there. We play Woodhead. Oh my god, wait, I might have fucked up. Because I... No, I don't really have the ability. I thought I had... Okay, it... Mm, I'm still not dying. I don't die here. And more importantly, I keep Loki alive. So I will just... I will have the ability... Uh, no. Okay, I don't have to lose many here. I only have to lose, like, one unit here. Or... <laughs> unit plus... Monk. Or, no. Yeah, I only have to lose Monk here, actually. Make sure you are not hitting the Pepper Witch here. Do not play a Pepper Pen here. Uh, I just, like, I pass this turn. I can play a- I don't need to pass this turn. I can play a Sunrod on Piggy. Oh, God, it's- fucking nerve-wracking, but this is... This is two hits, this is two hits, this is one hit, that's all of King Moko's hit. hits. I redraw here, and you are actually a... God, Truminator saving the damn day here. Thank you, Truminator. And we're honestly, it just... Just the, um... I... I will have the damage to kill here, though. Hopefully. No, with Loki, I should... With Loki and multiple sun sticks in the deck, I definitely should have the ability to kill King Moko. Absolutely. Demonize and spice? It just... The death here is not possible. You've gotten past... Uh, the death was possible, but... You've maneuvered around it. Now you cannot die from this angle. You are good. Okay, that was... That got really close, though. I think I do want to maybe try fishing for another unit. We got a lot of pearls. Buy one, block, consume, gain four... Gain four gold, aimless, consume. Apply three, poison. I don't really think any of these are all that good for me, eh? I don't... There's nothing I really want to duplicate here. So I think I'm just going to try to look for a, a stronger unit than a a Amos. Amos or Loki. Starlight. Cramming. Ugh. It's not great, man. Countdown turn counters of ally and row. Gain one demonize. Ugh. Does have a lot of HP. Man, I just need more. I need more. Need more stuff. Maybe I. Maybe I was supposed to go the. I don't know. I'm. I'm at a loss here. I think I'm gonna click Chompom here, just because Chompom is a three turn. Counter. Although at that point I might as well you be using Cargory here because Cargory does also have a three turn counter. I click no, I I'm gonna click Starlight here. What what we're gonna do? We're gonna take Amis out of the deck. No, I, I'm gonna take both of these out of the deck, and we're gonna put Cargory. Although in this fight, is that actually right? 
This fight could definitely be... Ink Sacks here could definitely be a tough one. We just don't do, like, any damage. And theoretically, the enemies shouldn't be doing damage anyway, but Monk just takes too long to get going. I play Shroominator here. God, Shroominator is fucking holding the fucking fort. Holding this all together. Oh god, why does the Octaco have smack back? Ugh. Okay, it's fine. I need to start building up my... I need to start building up my... My attack... The attack on my units. And then if I... Shit. Okay, what I'm gonna do here... I'm going to Sunrod Monk. God, the... Okay, I think this is right. Then I get to get off a... Then Monk gets to go again. I'm going to Pepper Flag... I'm gonna go for the guarantee. Oh, I know. This is guaranteed damage if you do it here. We get the. God, Loki Pest plus Pepper. Pepper Pan is actually like such a. Like an insane combo. The fucking combo. Alright, it's time to panic because we do not have. Because we no longer. Ha and I Okay, I need an Octobomb here. It might be time to panic because I no longer have, like, I no longer have Shroominator. Shroominator is no longer with us. Monk's Ink will not run out before it attacks again. I need to. I should just focus down this. I should redraw here. Hello, Cargory. I wish I put Amos in this deck. I wish it was Amos and not you. I'm gonna put Car- Okay, Cargory. You better not fucking be applying Frost to my own guys. Or else I'm gonna be- Or else I might, like, blow- Or else I might blow up. Alright, Cargory. You're taking this hit here. This all boils down to you, bud. This is all up to you. I know you got this. Give me something good. Give me, like, shell. Okay, spice. Maybe not terrible. See, this is five. God, there's just too many hits of damage I need to contend with here. Because we're not killing any anything, and I need to kill Kraken or else I lose. Okay, I have an ink. I need to play a scrappy sword in one of these upcoming turns. Ugh, god, I feel like I'm playing this fight really rusty. There goes uh, there goes my ink. And then Monk missed an activation, which is extremely sad. I think I should just let Cargory die here if I'm being completely honest with you. No, I I probably shouldn't because I don't have any like I'm going to I'm on it. Do I freeze tentacle here? It feels bad value though. I'll let Loki take this hit. What am I doing next turn? I'm going to freeze the Octaco. Then hopefully I redraw into a scrappy sword to kill the Kraken. To crack down on this Kraken. Uh, I can also... No, I want to... I want... To use Loki's Demonize to generate stuff from... From Pepper Pan here. For sure. Yo, Teeth. Okay, even though we hit Tentacle there, it's fine. The rest of the units... The rest of the enemies in this fight spawning... Not fine. I 
I think I want a Sunrod here. It's a good lane. I think I want a Sunrod to make it so Monk can decrease the attack here and also increase my own attack. Okay, we do not have to worry about this Octaco, which is honestly like kind of fun. I don't recall Monk. I actually just don't think I can recall Monk. I feel like in order to get through this, I need Monk to activate again. Yeah, I, that's what I need, actually. That is what I... Okay, I absolutely should go for that, then. And I think I should recall a Cargory here, because... Yeah, okay. I'm actually... I'm, I'm very sure of this. And I won't actually kill Tentacle here with the Pepper Pan. I'll kill it with the Gunk Fruit. Okay, this fight is actually... I think we got this. I think we're gonna be fine. So we play Woodhead here. Monk's effect is increased. I put you here. We pepper flat. We pepper pan here. I'll give this attack to Monk instead. You pepper pan, for sure. Yes. Okay. Don't. Don't. No need to hesitate. That guy is dead. Then you're able to gunk fruit here. Yes. Then that's three attack to three minus three attack to Lumako. Lumako is a vet is has achieved the vegetable status, and we cannot lose from here. Okay, so that, this is kind of just like meant to be our win condition, but we definitely need to find more to make this win condition pop. Because currently, ooh, leaves a lot to be desired. Leaves a bit to be desired. Is rather slow. In, in the scaling. Get owned, Lumako. Backflip, backflip. Okay. I like money here a lot. I also quite like a charm and removal. Get you to your... Charm is just nice. Although I do kind of just want money. I... I think I'm going to go removal plus a charm here. I'd probably be buying a charm. I definitely would be buying a charm anyway. And the removal is definitely more valuable than a gnome traveler here. Removal just super consistent. Oh my god. I'm going to like... Flourish charm. Not what I was looking for. Sorry. Increase HP by 4. Zoom and consume. Not bad. Should I actually take that? I don't know. I kind of just want to roll charms here. I really need to find a charm to make Monk pop off. I think I think that's more important for us right now. Greed charm. Okay. Uh, it's not amazing. We see no more units this run. Hmm. I don't know. When I put it, I think I'm going to... Oh, no, I should not put a Curse Grant on Monk because there is a chance I see... Uh... Okay. I'm legitimately, like, reliant on Loki as, like, a primary source of damage, which is fucking terrifying, so I'm giving this to Loki. I have no healing in my build, so Jewel Berry Charm is fucking worthless. I'm gonna equip Starlight here, because Starlight can't- will soak up Blood Bell. And that's generally okay. Okay, uh... I'm not gonna hear I really want to put a... Oh, wait, no. I need to put a Curse Crown on Living Face. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Just anything that makes Monk go again is just so good. Uh, 
Alright, I'm gonna play this on... I don't know... Put this on, like... Put this on, like, Monka. Doesn't really do much. But we are going to... Against Truffle, if it's... If this is not... Okay, since this is Shell Truffle, we absolutely eat this fight alive. Theoretically. <laughs> Theoretically. I definitely want to play a Sunrod on you, Monk. Yeah, because here... Check this shit out. After two goes, Truffle will have no attack. The only way Truffle can deal damage... Will be able to harm us is if there is a, um... Is if there is a truffle on the board. I... It... Is the way I said that... Did the way I say that make sense? No. If it didn't, I'm not surprised. Alright. Piggy, please kill the shrewels. Okay. Uh, the puffball. The puffball is the one threat in this fight. And guess what? Puffballs don't exist. Not in this... Not in my America. Just after this turn, it's it's fucking over for it's it's got it's over it is over for Truffle. It is over. Done and dusted. No more no more Truffle. Truffle just is is a complete vegetable right now. Cannot do anything to us. They will split at Zero attack. I'm pretty sure. What, wait, is this gonna split at like two attack, you think? Wouldn't that be weird? What if it like worked like that? What if it was weird like that? Okay. Here, I, it, we just, we play, we play slow. We play slow in this house. In this house, we played slow and just let Monk, like, drain the life force of every- th Fuck! I missed out on two attack on my own allies. God damn it. It was not- That was not the play. God- Ugh! I'm, I want something to make this Monk good! Please! I just- There's so many, like, we could see Smack Back, we could see Ain't Gnome Charm, we could see Monkey Charm, we could see the on- The Orange Charm from, like, Shortcake's Mod- From Short- Cakes charms. We could see, uh, something like fucking sunglass chime would be really good. So many good things, and I just need game. I need you to just look deep within your heart to show me them. That is all I need. I'm looking for your generosity. That is all I want. Okay. Why do I again? Why do I feel like? Why do I feel like Monk will? Like Truffle will not split the way I'm like hoping it will. All right. Starlight would definitely like you to decrease Monk's turn counter here. That'd be it. very appreciated. I'm just redrawing for Sunrod at this point. <laughs> yeah, they do have the subtracted attack. Ah, oh, it's so it like. No, nothing can happen here. I can't. I can't be hurt. I am. In, I am invincible. This is the glory of Monk. This is what we've been waiting for. With a struggle, we've struggled. We've struggled up to up to now, but you've struck. We struggled up to now, but before this point, we were only using a fra Monk was only using a fraction of their power. Now I get- now it's time for you to see the Monk Blast! Nah. <laughs> Wait, do the Monks have, like, increased? No. Or the Truffles have, like, in increased, like... Wait. Hold on. Just- <laughs> I, Literally, I can actually- I can close my- I- why am I still thinking? What am I- what am I doing? I actually- I- all I need to do is just keep hitting the redraw bell here. There's nothing else we need to do. We've won. It's over. It's completely jover. Nothing... No, no thought is required here. The truffles can't hurt you. 
Zero thought is required. Now, how... Again, the goal here is just to last long enough against against Frost Brigade, that we can get this kind of situation to work. Will it be easy? Not really. Will it be easier if we find something that the game that can allow Monk to trigger multiple times? Yes, it will. Yo, that's- yeah, let's go! That's huge! It's huge! Orange Charm, this is what I've been waiting for! This is from Short Key. Trigger when hit. You know what? Also, I am going to give you Chuckle Charm, Monk. You can hold this. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, it's been- the run is realized. Replace Ink- Ink Cat. Replace Ink effects with- Poison effects and vice vice versa. I do have three snow sticks in this build. And I removed the gunk fruits. I'm honestly down to send a new one sun charm here. It is probably just correct to click the sun bell of sun bell of hands here. But you know what? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lucky. Uh, what did I say? I... I love gambling. That's that's all that there is to be said. I, I really like gambling. Okay. Um, unfortunately for us, this upcoming... So, unfortunately for us is... What? Ice crabs can be kind of annoying fight. You get past ice... Now, it is kind of like... As long as I'm careful... It's kind of hard to just completely throw against Ice Crabs, I think. Something really nice about this setup is that we have Bone Needle, actually. So I can use Bone Needle on Monk to- Oh! <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so over. It- It's so over. The main- Our main- Our main utility for this fight is gonna be Starlight. Because Starlight can safely soak up the Bursters. Which pretty much just gets rid of all the threat in this fight. So we really don't got too much to worry about. But definitely, you, you can't you can just go asleep. You can't just sleep. You We are not allowed to sleep. I think I'm going to keep this Demonize on Burster here. God, I... <laughs> We really, we really don't do very much damage, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. We are primo defensive. As long as I have Starlight out here to take these, to take these hits, I'm never actually like under like much threat here. This is six damage here. I will do this. This gives Loki a chance to one-shot maybe this burster in the back. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Alright. Charlotte, very, I am very thankful for your presence here. Just play a little bone needle on Monk here. With me just being with- No, I definitely- I should not put Monk in- Absolutely, I should keep Monk in the front of the party. Because Monk will- Monk will be decreasing the attack. So, like, Monk is at, like, no risk of taking, like, massive damage. I'm so happy I put this acorn charm. God, this run is so cool. This shit is awesome. Uh, do not let Starlight take this hit. That would be unwise, because Starlight is demonized. And it would be rather foolish. Alright. Redraw here. Well, maybe I should have, like, decreased the attack of this crawler. That's probably what I should have done. Oh, wait, yeah, I can just, like... I just Bone Needle... Bone Needle plus Sunrod just wins... Just means... I don't have to worry about Numbskull. The one thing left in this fight that can hurt me is the burst. 
is are the bursters and i have starlight out here so like who really cares you know what? i can play just like a scrappy sword on monk and it's fine <laughs> this burster is minus 11 attack seen better days I'm gonna play I'm gonna play this I want to one shot this crawler so we will play pepper pan here kill that bozo see now this burster is annoying pure pr primarily just annoying though hey again one of the main like sources of damage in this fight being you know numbskull here uh, is not ex kind of we've Monk broke it, broke their legs. Or uh, you see, ever seen like videos of like uh like bug or like ants ripping off like like each other's legs? <laughs> like, there's like videos where it's like uh just snow up this crab, where it's there's like the this ant will have like a parasite on its on its like leg and the and another ant will be like hey homie let me help you out with that and then he's like and by helping out with that i mean i'm gonna rip off your leg so the parasite can't kill can't kill you and because ants can't feel pain it ends up working god i'm glad i oh i i was feeling real tired at the start of this recording but you know i've caught i've gotten my second win and we're doing some real cool shit some real gnarly stuff here. Okay, make sure you are not playing another bone needle. I mean, I, I can play one more bone needle on Monk. And you're fine. God, look at... My Loki is up by 24 attack. So, I got a total of 21 hits of attack this. Did I ever play a flame water? I've hit... Huh, I never never mind. I, I don't, I'm not gonna bother with the math. It doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. Alright, let's let's speed run. Numbskull, it's over. Numbskull, you have no you have no arms. You have no arms, legs, chest, or physical body. You are just a puff of smoke. One that is blocking my way, so I request that you get out of the get the fuck out of my way before something drastic happens. Please. Pretty please, if you will. Alright, thank you. Then we just sun right here and Numbskull is dedged. Alrighty. Seems super good. Oh. Make sure I am recording. It'd be fucking crushing if I wasn't recording here. I thankfully am. Uh God, this late got such a cool run, and it just like, and it just like wasn't. Oh, hey, we finally find this <laughs> punch in a box. Trigger a reaction effect. What did this trigger, Monk? Twice. <laughs> because this thing has attack, so it's triggering the on hit, and then it triggers the reaction, so it it triggers it twice. Seems pretty good to me. Wouldn't you say? Sun charm? Do I put that on sl I actually think to... For this to go quicker, I'm gonna put this on Loki. I think that speeds things up more. So I will throw... This on you, Starlight. And I'm gonna put this on Punch in a Box. To get that a juicy attack. To get that juicy boost. Be like Gnome Charm, please. Just because I want to... When hit, apply one snow to the attacker. That's pretty alright on Monk. Yeah. It gets boosted to applying two snow on the attacker. Seems alright. Uh, remember. Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. I'll never, I'll never sing again. The only thing is that, like, my only problem is that putting this on 
monk makes the the text look a lot worse which is gonna mainly look where mainly is gonna look worse for the th thumbnail yeah it does it does just trigger twice oh my god I've triggered three times in one turn I should the low Loki and piggy are just like ultra scaled these guys can't hurt me do not let uh, I do need to kind of just take this turn off which is fine I we, we can just again we can just like I can just sit here just fucking gain stats it's all fine by me man it's all shit ain't mean nothing to me look you want to hit me you want to hit me Mr. Bigfoot Bigfoot here be my damn guest See if I care. See if I fucking care. Oh shit, that was Barrage. I just like freely let a Bigfoot smack into my face, and I do not care. I might be making a mistake here if like letting monks like attack attack go, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could possibly go wrong here. Literally nothing. Me saying this won't, like, cause some, like, freak accident where, like, something is gonna go terribly wrong. Here, I will make sure and I will play Punch in a Box on Monk here. <laughs> I am losing at on some attack scaling, but it, it, it's not a huge deal. I really can just, like, keep redrawing for Punch in a Box. And just keep Monk, like, fucking... From, just keep Monk going. Just keep my attacks, attacks, that stat scaling. I just let the Mega Mimic hit into me. I do not care. I do not care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Do I? Does Monk look like they care? This plum might be a problem. Ow. Do I look like I care? God, this this monk unit is just crazy. It's just fucking bonkers. I actually will try saving some of monk's HP for the next wave. Cause I would like I would like to apply like a huge hitting the I should keep freezing this plum, because I the plum I might have an annoying time it might be kind of annoying to kill the plum. I mean, I am giving the fight some respect here, I gotta admit. Because this plum does have a high attack stat, and... And I'm also giving it respect so I can trick it when I, like, pull out, uh... When I play Punch in a Box on Monk, so, and, like, make Frost Guardian, like, regret it, regret their life choices. I mean, I could just, like, I can just let Monk take this hit. It's kind of sad, because I can't really... Eh, nah. I can let Monk take this hit, though. God. This would trigger on hit is so busted because you reduce their attack. And you reduce their attack down to, like, the negatives. And then they're just, like, not... And then they, like, you... And then, like, they'll just keep hitting into Monk. Monk will never die. And then you just keep fucking triggering Monk's effect. Also, I did... Don't, don't you have Frontline Starlights? I thought you had Frontline. What, what, what are you doing there? What, what was that? <laughs> the, something something did not seem right there to me. Right, I will trigger a punch in a box on this top lane. They cannot touch me. And now we just wait for... Oh yeah, we killed the one enemy that can actually hurt me. So yeah, it's over. It's over. Pack it, pack it up, Frost Guardian. You can't win. Now, there, we honestly might run into an issue with... Uh, against... I do have a... With the new one Snow Sticks, I think I shouldn't have a problem when fighting the, um... When fighting What's-Its-Face. Or when fighting the Frost Brigade. God damn. Jesus Christ, Loki. 
That was so much damage he just did. Holy. Oh my. Oh my. Alrighty, Loki, end this. Let, let's let's not waste time on Frost Guardian here. Not waste time with this bubber. Play a redraw here and play a. Uh, I guess like an Infinity Sunbell is good. It, it combos well with the Sunbell of Charge. Okay. I'm going to take Starlight out of the build, and I'm going to replace Starlight with the Functionally Superior Amis. Alright, looks... Setup is... I, there's no way I, I struggle here. It's also just like I gain Loki... Loki and the others scale so much. I put Monk here. Boost the effects. Make sure to take your screenshot of Monk. I really think... Yeah, apparently this is like a redrawn for like... This Monk here is like a redrawn like art for the mod. I like this. I like the art. It looks nice for the card. And I... I don't really got much else to... I'll take a screenshot of Punch in the Box. And that should be it. good. Now, first time, Punch in the Box has literally a mod, like, entirely designed around them. And we finally got to see Punch in a Box. Or, Punch in the Box is just, like, one single mod. And we finally get to see what that mod does. And it's not disappointing. Alrighty. Pack your bags, gentlemen. You can't hurt me. I'm invincible. I'm practically invincible! And then it plays like the fucking like title thing from Invincible. Alright. All I need to do here is just keep playing Snow on Frost Crusher. Abyss's effect here will actually be really nice for stalling Frost Bomber. Really appreciate it, actually. Alright, snow there. Snow there. Frost Crusher will never be able to see the light day. I'm honestly gonna hit, like... Yeah, and Amis being able to survive in another hit just means Frost Bomber can't actually, like... It takes a long time for Frost Bomber to kill Amis. And if I keep snowing Frost Muncher, it's not looking too good. Alright. You idiots, please just hit into my... My god, this unit is so nasty. This is just disgusting. Frost Joker is minus 15. I, I do, I do not care. Do absolute just apathy towards these, towards the idiots in this fight. They cannot touch me. Then eventually I'll just be able to play Punch in a Box on Monk again when I kill this Frost Jailer, which is kind of taking a bit, I gotta say. Taking a uh, couple, couple more seconds than I would like. Loki, please kill this Frost Jailer for me. Please kill Frost Jailer. I'd very much appreciate that out of you, buddy. Please do this. So I can, so we can just seal this fight's fate. Although this fight's, the moment they, this fucking little slug cat showed up and was like, uh, a reduce attack of all enemies in a row by two, it was completely over. It was just no shot, no how, no possibility, no remorse. It was just over. All right. The, this fight cannot hurt me now. Only Frost Bomber had a chance of hurting me here. And now Frost Bomber is... Legs are broken. So, there we go. This run was really cool. This was like... This was an excellent showcase of some of the... Of some mods. And like this... This like rainfall... Rain Frost mod just came out like today ish. Or came out like very extremely recently. Like 
like a couple like in the last 24 hours this came this mod came out in the by the time i'm making this video by the time you're watching this the mod's probably been out for a while but i just like this one and it's like i've only played like a i've played only like a very small amount of rain world but uh I, I was gonna say like something like, "Oh, this makes me want to play Rain World." Not really, because I'm not really. Rain World is like a survival game, and I'm like very definite. And it like the sur the survival game genre is one I'm like not really a fan of. Probably one of my like probably survival is probably like maybe my least favorite genre. May maybe survive. I just I can't get into like hardcore survival games like i get yeah, example is like i think don't starve is really cool or like the art and like world behind Do the game don't starve and don't starve together is super cool but i can't fucking stand playing it i just get so frustrated with those games and it's kind of the same thing like i died in slug world and then like all my progress gets reset which is kind of ironic when you think about it because one of my favorite genres is like roguelikes and that's like Roguelikes are the, pretty much the same idea where if you die, you go back to the start. Same as, like, a survival. I just find, like, the gameplay loop of survival games to be, like, definitely not my cup of tea. But, yeah. This unit here, very, very overpowered. Extremely cool. Do not nerf. Big funds. Anyway, that's gonna be this episode of Wild Frost. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe. And all of you out there, have a nice day.